Hello, I'm Karen Elguzma in James Bay, and we are about to discover some fine art. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, a young man with a brain injury is reaching out. And we are racing pigeons and creating a backyard farm. All that and more on Go Island. Thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We have a spectacular show for you today because we are in the studio, which is also the home of the very talented Beer, Birgit Peace Corps. Yes. I had to make sure I said your name yes, right. Exactly. Uh, and really, this is such extraordinary work. <laughs> She's always been Thank an extraordinary you. artist, but you know what? This show is special because the story behind this show will, will make the hair on your arms go up. You'll get goosebumps. Staying at a place called Los Cerritos, which is about an hour up from Cabo, and it's a fairly underdeveloped surfer beach. There's a, there's a surfer staying on the same property that I'm on. His name is Perry Abador. And on the 27th of December, he asked me if I would like to go whale watching. Of course, the gray whales are all over down there at that time of the year. There's about 20,000 whales that go migrate. And we're, we'd gotten quite far offshore, we're about a couple miles offshore. And we were just sitting, it was mid-afternoon, I guess, and we were just sort of sitting, looking back at the coast um, and, and contemplating going back in. Yeah. And we see these two whales going north. We can see their tails going in and out of the water. So Perry reaches under the water line and makes a squeaky sound on the edge of the kayak. And sure enough, the whales responded. They turned west. And we thought, like, how cool you is that? Talking to the whales. We're talking to the whales. And so the we thought. The first whale breach is maybe 20, 25 feet from us. And like, full body breach, like head to tail, and straight big. up out of the water, right? Oh. Just as I'm turning around, the second whale breached, like, right here. And I'm in the front of the kayak, right? Oh so, my God. so I'm so like I'm so thankful that the first whale breached first because I was already in a heightened state, yeah. you know. And so otherwise, I probably would have had a heart attack. I mean, as it was, as it was, this whale started coming out of the water, and I don't really understand what's happening. Like I, I, I think it's a whale because like what else would it be? Yeah, yeah. You know, going up, and I'm thinking, okay, it's a whale, and and I'm not feeling any fear, I'm just confusion, right? And then, and then at a certain point I realize, okay, I'm dead now, like this is it. Like there's a, there's a whale as big as a bus about to come down on me and it's not gonna hurt. And I have to say, Karen, it was one of the most profound moments of my life because I, I completely and utterly surrendered my life, okay? And there was such an expansive peace and silence in that moment. It was amazing and I bowed my head and, uh, and and just waited to die, right? And so I, and I have this, I have a memory of falling, like starting to go this way, I guess because the wave had yeah. come, right? And so Perry, meantime, he's behind me, right? So he keeps his eyes wide open. He gets back as far as he can in the kayak. And the next thing I remember is like this incredible sound as the whale hits the kayak. It landed like right behind me, like between the two of us. It had obviously towards the tail end of its body because it had maybe five feet at the very most, right. but not the tail itself, because of course that's wider. Yeah. So sound and then pressure as we're being driven under the water and then I open my eyes and I realize like I'm alive right and the body is so amazing because it took a big breath before it went in the water right yeah. it knew and so I'm swimming up through all this swirling water and it's because I kind of symbolically died when I surrendered my life so mm -hmm. utterly and I was symbolically reborn as I swam up through the ocean okay you know swimming up through the wind, right basically and that moment that moment in between those two things um, that moment comes up a lot in my work Wow. Yeah, so. Well, cool. we, I'm, I'm, ex I'm exhausted. <laughs> Just listening to the story. I, 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 it's unbelievable. We're going to continue to see how this profound rebirth has affected uh, uh, the art and, um, oh, you're going to be amazed. But first, um, we talk about uh, the event you went through. Well, of course, so many young people have been affected by brain injuries. It's a horrible thing to have to go through. And one of the challenges for many young people are connecting to people who've been through the same thing. But there's one young man on the island who's determined to change that. Nikki Iwanishan has that story. 
This piece really was one of the pieces that um, came out of that incredible spiritual rebirth and, and awakening. Yes. Tell us about this piece. That moment between life and death yes. that comes up a lot. So the other thing that comes up a lot is spirals, the spiral form, okay? And so the spiral is significant because it's kind of the, uh, the channel through which we're born Absolutely. and the channel through which we leave. It's about the cycles of life, about rebirth and transformation. Well, we will continue to wander around the studio and, um, and the gallery to show off. Just a sneak peek of what they can awesome. see if they come to the show. And your show is this weekend? That's correct, from uh, 12 to 6 on Saturday and Sunday. Pigeons. We often think of them as city birds. But according to a few fellows in the couch and valley, these birds are actually the thoroughbred of birds. They're fast. They're exciting. I'll let Jen Moranitz explain. Now, if you're interested in this sport of pigeon racing, then go to the website on the screen and check it out. It seems like a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> uh, what an incredible piece this is. Thank you. Tell Thank us you. about this beautiful piece of art. Well, sculpture. this, see, I absolutely love my concrete. I love so many things about it. And the fact that I can make this incredibly organic flowing form out of a material that we generally think as more of an industrial sort of, you know, buildings and yes. sidewalks and roads and yes. that sort of thing, but not this kind of form. This piece here is really kind of a meld of my passion for the natural world, for gardening, yes. and the ocean as well. And we will show you more of her mm -hmm. gifted work that has been born right here. Uh, we even get to go to her studio and yes. get a sneak peek. <laughs> um, so stay with us, we're gonna take a quick break. Welcome back to Go Island. We have such a great show going on. I just want to move into your home. I'm now in, in Birgit's bedroom. The sort of medium um, cadmium red with magenta overlay. Oh. I don't know if you can see that property, but yeah, it, it just is really is like, wow. It is. <laughs> well, next we're going to head to the studio to see how this yes. is actually created. But first, most of us are starting to think, shop local, buy fresh farm food. But are we doing enough? Rianne LaPlante looks at how we can be even more sustainable. It is so yeah. fun to watch you work. Um, what's happening this weekend in your home? I am having an open house show of new work and I invite everyone to come and join me on Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 6. And where are you? I'm at 570 Niagara Street in James Bay. That's at the corner of South Turner. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. So I could actually move in here with you because <laughs> I, I, I love your energy and your story thank and it you. certainly comes out in all your pieces. You, you have an extraordinary story and I hope it thank inspired you. everybody who was watching and I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you have any feedback for us, any ideas, any thoughts, there's lots of ways to find us. Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter, you can email us. Uh, and if you see us around, any one of us, say hi. We love the show and give us your feedback. Thanks for watching.